Alright, what up YouTube? Marley G back at y'all to the episode of Running With Y'all No Cap No Filter. And tonight I'm running with y'all about Blueface and Christian Rock, aka Bluetooth. <laughs> America's most toxic couple right now, and we're seeing it happen in real time, right in front of our eyes, man. This, this the modern day motherfucking Ike and Tina or Bobby and Whitney around this motherfucker around. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm telling you, dog, I wouldn't be surprised if she pulled the fucking left eye and burned this nigga house down, dog. I, I, I wanna see that motherfucker fucking bill for the damages they cause in they fucking house and they cause <laughs> i want to see the bill because i know they've been fucking a lot of shit up you know you good and crazy when you fuck up your own shit tear up your own shit yeah <laughs> and they documenting all this shit and maybe it's for clout maybe it's for motherfucking uh just the fucking sale you know for blue face ain't been selling records lately his motherfucking uh his motherfucking uh, boxing match that he had coming up That shit got cancelled lately So fuck you gotta get some type of uh, Exposure when you're a celebrity To keep your relevance going I guess And Christian Rock she ain't the same athlete that she was You know what I'm saying I think she play a little football or whatever She got a little speed on her But she ain't got that same tone in her body She ain't got that same definition in her body You know what I'm saying She gaining a little weight She got some little happy weight She fine don't get it twisted She fine but you could tell that she's getting away from herself you know what i'm saying she ain't doing what she usually uh normally do you know and that's being in the gym and just being a, a, a real athlete and that's what that girl is she's a real athlete you know and blue face he's an athlete too so you know them getting on the football field or whatever you know what i'm saying together that that's cool or whatever i think that's another thing that really bring them together that people don't really talk about much but we're here to talk about the motherfucking toxicity you know what I'm saying? We're here to talk about the motherfucking drama. Um, and I think it's real bad for their health. I think it's real bad for them mentally. And you can also see they losing too. <laughs> Physically, I, uh, blue faces getting scarred up and all this and all that from her. And I also think she got a drinking problem. She already just stated she's very aggressive. Uh, men want their women to be uh, feminine. Women, men want their women to be their peace. Not the motherfucker that's going to bring chaos to you. You know what I'm saying? Even when, you know, they just probably having a bad day or just, you know, they, they, they can't talk something out as an adult. You know what I'm saying? So that's never going to go right. And hopefully they can repel all this shit and, you know, get their shit together. Because if they're going to continue like this and they're going to have a kid, shit is going to get much worse before it, it does get better. Um, I feel like a lot of this shit, they're documenting people already that went through the same shit. You know what I'm saying? Like me and my baby mama shit, we probably didn't went through this shit even worse. So we just ain't have it documented back then. You know what I'm saying? I think me and my baby mama was around each other when we had flip phones and map quests. She had to come on a whole treasure hunt to come see me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Y'all got it good today with these GPSs and shit. But nevertheless, yeah, dig. I feel like uh, I feel like she really loved him. You know what I'm saying? She stepped out and went to entertain other dudes. You know what I'm saying? Because I thought that's the type of time that she thought of, they was on. You know what I'm saying? She probably felt like she he wasn't tripping. And I don't, I, I really think she do love him like that. I don't just think this, uh, it probably could have started out as a, you know, use him to, uh, build her own fan base thing or whatever but I think in the midst of that she loved him you know what I'm saying like a lot of people feel like she, she surpassed him you know what I'm saying like he need all this because he ain't on the dirt level he not on the baby level as a rapper you know what I'm saying he's probably like a one hit wonder or a few, hit, few hits wonder so you know what I'm saying but in her case shit just like motherfucking Ari started her fan base you know what I'm saying was in that toxic relationship with her and, and got up out of there and started dating other athletes and, and rappers and things and you know same with Jocelyn she didn't got home show after coming off of Love and Hip Hop with Stevie J de develop her a brand develop her a fan base a lot of girls want her to do the same thing because a lot of girls oh that's my bitch oh Christian Rock is me and I am her you know what I'm saying uh, and she's a Capricorn yeah <laughs> you know what I'm saying a lot of a lot of women could relate to her they think that shit cute or whatever and Within a black community, I guess men tend to make their women go through a lot of hurdles, a lot of boundaries to earn girlfriend status. And, you know, when it comes to Blueface, I feel like he loves her, but he's like, damn, 
she kind of real over sexualizing herself she kind of she kind of real you know aggressive she's real crazy damn i i, I like her but i i don't want to like her but you know he giving her all the signs that you know he don't really want to take her serious but at the same time when you spend enough time with a motherfucker, you're going to develop feelings. I don't give a fuck who you with. And when he went to that phone, while they was fighting on goddamn uh, Hollywood Boulevard or whatever, that's when he probably first realized, damn, I really love this girl because otherwise I wouldn't feel the way I feel. He probably felt like he had to take a shit when he seen all them fucking, <laughs> all them niggas in her phone. Then he seen a nigga from New Orleans in that bitch. Ooh, that shit man, probably made him hit the roof, boy. The one the nigga from New Orleans get your bitch, boy. Ooh, she gonna double back. Trust me, she gonna double back. Yeah, <laughs> you hear me? But uh, yeah, man. Um, fuck. It's like they're they're sharing a, a, a trauma bondage right now, and it's gonna be hard for them to get over each other. You know what I'm saying? And it's like she's in Stockholm syndrome because she's like kidnapped by him or whatever. Because I think she he love her, but you know what I'm saying? He's not ready to, to see her with somebody else. He's not ready to see her glow up and elevate. He's he's not ready for her to move on. He can't accept that. You know what I'm saying? Her going out and dating other athletes and rappers. And that was just regular niggas that she was talking to on the phone. But once she leave him, trust me, she's going to date another motherfucking uh, entertainer. And it might be somebody he know or don't like. And that's what he's not ready for, uh, ready to accept. Um, Yeah, man, shit. <laughs> when it comes to cheating, dog. Shit, it, 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 it make you can't even look that girl in the eye no more. And then it depends on who you're cheating with. Is this somebody within proximity? Somebody that you live with, go to work with, go to school with? Is it a client of a of somebody here you do? Like, will you ever cross paths with this motherfucker again? You know what I'm saying? Like, all, all that shit play into part. You know what I'm saying? All that shit is key. You know what I'm saying? So... Within the black community, a lot of people feel like this is like a rite of passage. <laughs> this is a motherfucking rite of passage. You know what I'm saying? Uh, except, except all the shit with like her getting tattoos and shit. But you know, I feel like he think he got a lot of control over her. He make her pull out the tooth on command, put it back in on command, fight her mama on command, command her to do all this stuff. But can he command her to stop talking to niggas? Is the, is, is the question. You know what I'm saying? Because he put his foot down and he trying to be in a relationship with her now. And they trying to make it work, but they they need to go ahead on and make that work before they have a kid. You know what I'm saying? Once they have a kid, shit, they stuck with each other. And hopefully they can make it work because if not, they don't need to, you know, be fucking with each other and then, you know, trying to go branch off and date other people but still having help from this drama, this, this trauma that they going through or whatever. Saying, especially if the sex is good because that's that makeup sis they be coming back looking for um yeah man but shit I wanna know what y'all think in the comment section below have, have y'all uh went through this you know what I'm saying in your early 20s and then you look back at it if you're old, older than 25 and realize how crazy and stupid you were uh how long do you think this couple right here gonna last I give them about another good six months you know what i'm saying as long as they keep on you know feeding into the public eye you know uh uploading and documenting all their crazy mishaps and people are are engaging they're gonna keep doing it they're gonna keep doing it something is gonna happen uh whether it's negative or positive they might land a show and get their own reality tv show or you know what i'm saying things might just get real more abusive you know, and one might go to the hospital, and this shit is gonna keep going until both parties are tied to each other, straight up. Like, once a motherfucker is uh, sick and tired and had enough, they're gonna move on, and the other one ain't gonna have no choice but to move on eventually. And then once you move on, after a while, everything a motherfucker do will be lame or annoying to you, and you get to wondering how the fuck I even love this motherfucker in the first place. What the hell I was thinking? <laughs> I'm telling you, that's how it be like that, though. It, it, it be like that. But, yeah, man, I get these motherfuckers another good six months. You know what I'm saying? Especially if they don't land their own TV show or whatever. But, shit, when the streams ain't working, shit, you gotta give them drama. Because motherfucking sex sells and drama sells. And that's what a motherfucker like to tune in there. A, a motherfucker like to tune in and see... Uh, a motherfucker hurt and see a motherfucker unhappy, see
be a motherfucking up and down relationship, especially when it's a celebrity, because not a regular motherfuckers can feel like, oh, they just like me, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Misery, misery loves company. So all these other motherfuckers in unhappy relationship, they want to see the downfall. You know what I'm saying? They 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 they, they want to see it. They don't want to see a motherfucker flourish and be happy. You know what I'm saying? And it's sad to because a lot of people are, you know, glorifying this type of love. You know what I'm saying? But they don't glorify uh, other type of loves. You know, the ones that just low key that nobody talks about. You know what I'm saying? Like you ain't need much any. You can't even be in a business. Fuck. And that's what another thing, motherfucker, just uploading too much shit on the internet, having too much personal shit out there, like having people all in their business. These motherfuckers need to take a step, t- take a page out of motherfucking Tommy, uh, Tommy notes and, and, and take his motherfucking approach. You know what I'm saying? Years later, we still don't know what Tommy did for a living on Martin. Fuck. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Now that's that's the definition, the epitome of keeping the motherfucker out your business. But. Once it's out there for the public eye, the public to see, you know what I'm saying? The public have a right to have an opinion. And in my opinion, they need to just go ahead on and call it quits with this, dog, because I just don't see nothing healthy coming from this. Um, That's just my honest opinion. Uh, I want to know what y'all think down in the comment section below.